Hello, aviators. I am here. I have the pleasure to uh, announce the nominees and the winners of our Q2 Values Award. So thank you very much for sending in all of your nominations. This is, on reflection, my favourite time of year. Um, reading what you've all written about each other, about the people who you've nominated, is just amazing, actually. So thank you for taking the time to do it. Um, it's really important. So I think taking the time to talk about our values and recognise people when they live them is a really important part of making them a permanent feature in the way we work and interact with each other. The last six to eight months have been challenging. And I think that nominating people for our Values Award is perhaps even more important in the tough times. Um, so for that reason, we were delighted to actually receive more nominations this time round uh, than in any previous period. And that was with fewer people kind of in the business day to day as well. So just brilliant. And thank you very much for doing it. It really makes it worthwhile. And this is going to be become a more and more um, important feature um, of, of how we work. Um, as well as the values nominations, uh, we'd also like to give a special mention to all of you who were furloughed um, over the course of the last few months. It's really great to have you all back. So welcome back this week to all of you. Um, and well done for supporting each other uh, on things like, I know there was a furlough WhatsApp group, for example, um, which is a really nice touch. Um, so well done for keeping that, sense, that spirit and sense of community with each other through what was a highly unusual time. So thank you for that. So the nominees for the Q2 Values Award, um, so these are people who received at least one nomination from a colleague. Uh, and the nominees are Alexei, Alan, Nick Hope, Sally, Philippe, Rachel, Josh, Teresa, Hannah, and our two winners. So firstly, well done to all of you for being nominated. Um, that's, that's really great. You all deserve um, a really big round of applause. In fact, hang on. A big round of applause. Um, you will all receive your nominations as usual, and they will also be so that you can see what people have, have said about you. Um, and they'll also be included in your PPR reviews now that this is becoming an even more important part of our, of our annual PPR process. So well done, all of you. Uh, so on to our two winners. So we've got joint, joint winners this time. Um, so the first person I've just picked out, like, a selection of uh, words and things that were said about these people. There is quite a lot more um, which they will get, but my summary um, of the first person, first winner, is this person has been described by you as calm and empathetic, someone who makes people feel important and valued. She's thoughtful and considerate and makes decisions that balance the needs of her colleagues and the business. She regularly demonstrates many of the behaviours that we are encouraging as part of our culture. During a challenging six months, she has shown herself to be an attentive and caring coordinator of the team, an excellent listener, and a calming influence in an often pressured environment. She always makes time to ask how you are, even when she's in a rush. She's conscientious, considerate, and kind. She continues to push herself out of her comfort zone and is always learning new skills. She is an excellent role model with a great work ethic and is a fabulous team player. So I'm very pleased to say that the first winner of this Values Award is Caroline Smith. Well done, Caroline. Fantastic. Uh, and our second winner, um, our second winner is always ready to get stuck in and is genuinely interested in learning. She is kind, determined, resilient and incredibly hardworking. She's a great companion on trips and has saved the day on multiple occasions. She's extremely receptive to feedback 
and in fact she actively seeks it. She is a very hard worker who is also very humble, stepping back to let others take credit where it's due. This person has been consistently supportive, respectful and open with her colleagues, providing feedback in a respectful and honest way. She goes above and beyond, something that was used more than once um, to describe this person, to solve technical issues and to keep our vital customer relationships strong, often in her second, third, fourth or even fifth language. She is a real asset to the AVA team. So I am delighted to say that our second winner this time round is Alessandra. So well done both of you. You received such um, sort of thoughtful, thoughtful and deserved nominations from, from your colleagues and we couldn't, we couldn't um, separate the two of you. So for that reason, we've chosen both of you as winners. So congratulations. Well done. Uh, your prize is a, a live online class with one of Simon Sinek's uh, team. So I'll send you more information about it, but um, some of you will already be familiar with Simon Sinek. Um, I really love what they stand for as an organisation. They've got a fantastic selection of online classes at the moment covering all sorts of topics. Um, and it just sits really nicely with our, our lifelong learning value as well. So I'll send you the list and you'll be able to sign up to one of those and look forward to hearing how you find it. Well done to everyone who was nominated and to our winners and look forward to seeing you all very soon. Keep up the good work. Keep living those values. Bye for now.